Hi, this is Barry here, and you are very, very welcome to the very first episode of the Passion to Profits podcast. Yes, I know if you've been listening to this podcast, there is a lot of podcast episodes going back into the past that covered a lot of topics. But what I want to do from today, today is a new start. We're going to draw a line in the sand. We're going to forget all the content I've recorded here in the past. Now, if you want to go back through the archives of this podcast, yes, you're welcome to do that. Feel free to go backwards. But I just wanted to go with a, a new fresh start with the podcast because some things have changed in my own life. Um, you probably find as you kind of go through your own career in building an online business, certain things will, you know, excite you, you know, motivate you, inspire you, are things that you want to do. And then over time, through a gradual process of maybe learning what was involved or maybe overcoming that skill, you know, grabbing all that knowledge, taking action on that thing, we find that, you know, we're on to the next thing. There's something else over the horizon that we'd like to do next. And that's where this podcast is going. This is going to take me over the horizon of what I can see in the future. So that's why I am back here again recording podcast episodes. I do apologize if my voice voice sounds a little bit husky. Um, I had COVID a couple of months back and for some reason my voice just hasn't come back properly. But hopefully we'll get it back very soon. But I do apologize if I do sound a little bit husky or whatever way I sound at the moment. But let's carry on. So the reason I'm recording this very first podcast episode, as I said, we're going back to a fresh start. But... I want to go back to something that if you are looking to build an online business, as the the name of the podcast is right now, Passion to Profits, I want to start back to passion. Because a lot of us, when we want to come online to build an online business, we have big dreams of making money. You know, we see someone on YouTube who's making an absolute fortune every month or someone on TikTok or someone on Twitter or whatever, and we get excited about the money. Now, what I found in the past is when I've gone chasing after the money. Yes, I did make some money at some point, but it was never satisfying. It was never something that I could do consistently. You know, I found that over time, even though I was making money, I wasn't liking the things that I was doing. And what I want to talk about in this podcast episode is starting off with a passion. Now, I know there are some people that say that, you know, you should chase after the money and that's where the money is, which does make sense and you know for a lot of us if we were to you know expect people to pay us for a passion it would probably be us sitting down in front of the tv eating pizza doing things that we would like and things that you know no one's going to pay us for so I, wanted, I don't want to talk about those kind of you know passions that we would do you know just lazing around doing nothing I want to talk about things the passions that excite us things that fire us up Things that we'd like to do. Now in my own case, again if you've been listening to this podcast for long at all, you will have heard some of my stories of how I actually got to record a podcast and how I got into writing fiction books and things like that. And the reason I actually got into those things was because, not that I had a great burning passion to do those things. You know, sometimes we feel that, you know, I need this all-consuming passion that when I get out of bed first thing in the morning, it's the thing that fires me up and I need to charge out the door and race after the passion. You know, sometimes our passion could be maybe something simple, something that we'd like to do, something that we'd like to try out. Again, going back to myself, you know, when I started writing my first fiction books. Um, fiction writing wasn't a passion for me. But there was always something in me that I wanted to write. I don't know why. don't know where it came from. Um, you know, if I go back to school, English classes, I was never the best at English. I probably never wrote the best essays. But for some reason, I had this kind of thing in me that um, I love stories. I love telling stories. Now, not these kind of once upon a time stories, but what I used to do was years back when I was very small, I used to do a lot of traveling with my dad in the lorry. My father was a truck driver and on the journeys up and down Ireland, um, you know, there'd be a lot of time sitting in the truck together and he would usually ask me things like, what are you watching on TV? Now, what I used to do was I used to, which is something that frustrates the hell out of my wife. Um, but what I would do is I would talk about the show. I would go through the whole storyline. I talk about what the characters said, what the characters did. And basically, I gave a kind of an audio version of that episode. Now, I don't know if he was 
listen to me 100% as I was kind of telling that. But I used to talk about TV shows and do that, talk about stories and and I'd forgotten about that. And it was only when I was looking to um, get into fiction, I realised that, you know something, I had a love of story. I had a love of TV shows. I had a love of movies. I had a love of characters. You know, some TV shows, they mightn't have been the best TV shows, but there could be maybe a character or two that I'd latch on to. And I used to think to myself, God, I would love to write a story about that character. Just take them out of that TV show and just, you know, put them in a world that I would create and write about them. And I, at the time, again, if you've listened to this podcast for long at all, I used to have a job where I was stacking shelves at night. I would stack shelves for 10 hours a day, which was a boring and monotonous job. Not that I'm putting anyone down who has a job like that at the moment, but there are some jobs that you just, your body is there, but your brain just wants to be somewhere else. And at the time, I used to listen to a lot of podcasts, again, this is the reason why I got into podcasting. But at the time, I used to listen to a lot of podcasts. And I used to listen to a lot of people who were the Amazon Kindle store who was only really opening at the time. And people were writing their own books and publishing them on um, the Amazon Kindle store. And I was hearing about all these people who were writing fiction, who were making a fortune. And I just had got this idea in my head, Barry, why not try it? Why not give it a go? Why not see if you can write fiction? Now, again... This wasn't a great burning desire or passion that I had. I just wanted to see, could I do it? Could I write a story that people all over the world would possibly like? Now, again, I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know if I was going to get any readers. But and at the time, I'll be honest, I chickened out. I, at the time, was thinking of writing the first book myself. But I chickened out at the last minute and I said, well, Barry... Let's hire a ghostwriter. You know, you have the story written out. You've got the characters written out. You know what's going to happen in the book, but you just don't have the confidence to do it. How about we take all this and give it over to a ghostwriter and get them to write the book? And that's what I did. I gave all the information to a ghostwriter and I said, this is the book I want uh, written. These are the characters. This is the story. Off you go. And then nothing happened. I waited about a week or two. No word from my ghostwriter. And... I uh, said, well, what's going on? So I reached out to the ghostwriter and for some reason they didn't get back to me. So I actually ended up being ghosted by a ghostwriter. And at the time I came back to my wife, I was complaining. I said, well, I'm after wasting two or three weeks. I could have probably had the book well written by now. And now I have to go and try and find another writer. And my wife said something to me that really kind of spurred me on and got me to take action. And what she said was, you already know that book. Just write the hell. Write that book. Write it. You know what's in it. And at the time, I was maybe a little bit angry at a response. I was looking for some sympathy. Uh, But she just kind of threw all the responsibility back on me. And I realized that she was right. I should write that book. And I did go and write that book. And I wrote that book. I published it on the Amazon store. And it done well. And then the, the readers, it was actually a a children's book that was based in the Minecraft uh, world. It was based on one of the characters, Herobrine, Herobrine in uh, Minecraft. I did really well. And the kids were asking me, will you write book two? And that led from book two to book three to book four. And suddenly that tiny little book became a 17 book box set. Now at the time I didn't know where I was going to go to, but I found as I started writing, I started growing a love for fiction writing. And sometimes you're going to find that, you know, Something that maybe you mightn't think would be a passion of yours could be something that you've never done before. And when you actually get into it and start actually taking the actions, you realise, you know something, I like this. You know, I'd like to get better at this. And you start to get a little bit of excitement as you start to make progress. You know, it could be something like, for example, maybe recording podcast episodes like this. You know, you might say, well, I've never tried podcasting before. I don't know if I can do it. I don't have a big love for it, but I'd like to see if I can do it. And you might find that maybe as you record one or two podcast episodes, you find that maybe a couple of listeners get back to you. You find that maybe, you know, people start listening to it. And then you, as you record more podcast episodes, you find that your love for it grows and your passion for it grows. So that's what I say to you is that sometimes, you know, um, as I said, because this episode is about passion, You know, sometimes we don't need to have a burning passion. 
Sometimes you need to try things out we've never done before. And I think a lot of us, sometimes why we don't take action is because we think, like I did at the time, that we are just us. You know, there's nothing special about us. You know, when I wrote my first fiction book, I didn't think I was a fiction writer. I didn't think there was anything special about me. I definitely didn't think anyone would read my story. You know, I hoped they would read my books, but I didn't think they would. And when that happened, it actually surprised me. Because me, like you, probably just saw yourself as just us. There's nothing special about us. And again, when you find that maybe you go after your passion, you're going to go into it with doubts. You know, just because you have a passion doesn't mean that you're 100% confident or that you need to be 100% confident. Because as I said, when I wrote my first fiction book, I didn't believe in myself, didn't know where the book would go and thought it would be a waste of my time. And sometimes you need to try things out you've never done before and things that you don't know what's going to happen next. Sometimes you just need to throw it out there and see what the universe gives you back. And... That's what I mean when it comes to passions, is that, you know, sometimes you need to try things that you've never done before. So, as I said, this podcast episode, the first one today, is just basically talking about passion. Now, if you are someone who feels, well, that's okay for you. You found the things that you'd like to do and you're good enough at it. And you're looking at yourself and you're thinking, well, I'm just me. There's nothing special about me. I'm not passionate about anything. What I'd say to you is, first of all, you're probably not passionate about something because you haven't done enough things you know too many of us when we reach a certain point in our lives just kind of do the same things over and over again we never try new things out we you know probably don't read as much as we used to we probably don't get outside our comfort zone you know take big crazy jumps like writing a book or recording a podcast or maybe doing videos on tiktok or something like that we never actually take those big leaps and your passion to your profit could be one of those things it could be you taking a leap into the unknown. Now again, if you're still lost and you're thinking, well, Barry, you know, I need some help finding my passion. What I'd say to you is, if you want to maybe go and get a pen and paper. Now you can pause this episode right now if you want and come back. Um, but grab a pen and paper and I just want you to write down things from your past that excited you. You know, when you think back to your childhood, was there certain things that, you know, made you happy? You know, maybe it was drawing. Maybe again, like me, telling stories to your parents. Uh, was it maybe just acting, putting on performances? You know, did you like speaking to crowds, modeling, whatever? Did you find things from your childhood that you liked doing at the time? And then what I'd do is I'd have a look at... Um, pardon me, I'm just, <laughs> my brain went there for a second. Um, so have a look at the things that excite you in childhood. And I'd also have a look at what the things excite you or the things that you lose yourself in right now. You know, do you ever find sometimes that when you do certain activities, you just look around, look up the clock and you realise an hour has passed or two hours has passed and it just felt like it was two or three minutes. Now, usually those are a sign of something that we need to chase after, that our passion is probably in that thing that we lose ourselves in. Again, passions are, for a lot of us, something that sometimes we find easy to do. You know, sometimes we feel that, well, if I'm going after a passion, it has to be something difficult. It has to be something that, you know, that I have to do a lot of study for, you know, take a lot of action. Sometimes our passions can be just simple, something simple, something that we just find easy to do. And sometimes because we find things easy to do, we assume everybody else can find it easy to do. You know, I can find it easy right now to record a podcast episode and it's easy for me to assume that you can find it easy to do it too. But I know if I put myself in your shoes, you're probably saying there's no way in hell I could do that. And again, it's the same with you. With things you find easy to do, you think everybody else is that way, but we're not. We're all wired differently. So again, have a look at your childhood. What excited you in the past? Have a look at what you lose yourself in right now. Have a look at what you find easy to do. And again, if you're still stumped, what I'd say to you is, what do people come to you to solve? You know, your friends or your family, what problems they bring to you that you can easily solve for them? You know, do you have a nickname? Are you the person who's good at, um, I don't know, fixing cars? Are you the type of person who is good at cookery? 
you know, sewing, home maintenance, all those different things. What do people come to you to solve? And again, I would just write that down. And I'd have a look at those things. And I'd also say to you as well too, is that write down on that list things that maybe you'd like to try out. You know, right now at the back of your mind, I know for a fact there is something that is kind of knocking at the door. It's a little voice that's telling you, try this out. But I know right now, fear is slamming that door shut and you're afraid to go there. Again, going back to my fiction writing, I had that little voice that said to me, Barry, you like telling stories. Why don't you write a book? And again, I slammed that door shut. I tried to find a ghostwriter to do that for me. And thankfully, that ghostwriter let me down and I wrote that book. And that little voice is being given to you for a reason. Because the universe, God, whatever your beliefs are, is telling you that there's something that you are good at. And sometimes you just need to take a step of courage. Sometimes we need to just give it a go. And as I said, see what happens next. Sometimes you might find that maybe those things aren't for you, but at least it's something you can mark off your list. But right now you have probably put yourself in such a, a narrow band of things that you do that you might need to kind of go outside where you are right now to find new things and that your passion could actually be outside where you are right now. It could be some activity, some action, something that you're not doing right now that when you start to do it, you'll actually realise, you know something? This is my lane. This is what I should be doing. This is what I'd like to do for the rest of my life. This is what excites me. This is what fires me up. Again, going back to passion too as well, sometimes we stupidly believe that when it comes to passion, that we need to leap out of the bed every single morning saying, I am so excited, I can't wait for the day. But you're going to find that even though you do have a passion, there will be days that you're not going to feel as fired up. But at least if you have a passion, even on those bad days where you just don't believe in yourself or you're not motivated or you just can't seem to take action, you're going to find that if you go after your passion, it's going to be something that you, on good days, that you love. It's going to be things on bad days that you like. So even on a bad day, when you find out what your passion is, even though you might be a little bit sluggish that day, you'll still get up, you'll still take the actions that you need to take to get you to wherever you need to go. Whereas if you find that maybe you're doing something right now that you're not passionate about, on a bad day, it's going to, it's like pushing a boulder up the side of a mountain. You're not, want to go, you're not going to want to do it. So that's another reason why you should find out what your passion is, because it's going to make it easy to take action on days when you don't want to take action because you like what you do. Again, going back to my fiction writing, you know, there was some days I couldn't wait to sit down on the laptop and start writing. Then there was other days where I just struggled to find the words. But it wasn't that horrible for me to actually sit down for a couple of hours at the laptop and actually just type out a couple of sentences compared to the things I used to do in the past that I hated doing and on the bad days I'd never do it. So, as I said, this is the very first episode of the Passion of Profits podcast. Um, what we're going to do from today onwards is go through all the different things of how to take a passion, how to find something that you love, and actually build a business around it and around you. Because right now, you know, you probably want to escape from the nine to five. You probably want financial freedom. And the last thing you need to do right now is to go from a nine to five job that you hate into an online business that you hate. The thing you should be doing right now, this passion to profit uh, business that you should be going after, is something that's going to bring some joy into your life. It's going to be easy to do. It's going to be you know, the kind of the, the good to the bad of the 9 to 5 job. Because I see too many people who come online here trying to build side hustles, trying to build online businesses around things that they have no love for and they hate. And basically what they're doing is they're going from a 9 to 5 job that they hate into a side hustle that they hate. Now if you can imagine, if you hate your side hustle, you're never going to put the work in and you're never going to get the results. So that's why it's another reason for you to actually find out what excites you, what makes you happy. Because on the bad days and on the days where possibly you couldn't make money, you'll still do it because it makes you happy.
So if you have any comments about this uh, episode or if you'd like me to cover anything in upcoming podcast episodes, just leave a comment on this video. And if you'd like to know more about me or if you'd like to go over to my site, I am going to put a link to the rightcom.com website where you can click on and go over and have a look at some of the blog posts and a lot of free posts and content that I have over there. So thank you very much for sharing your time with me today. Have a lovely day. Take care. Bye-bye.